this video I'm going to show the new features of the latest update. Um, the first is to do with menus and how they operate, or um, the large ones at least. Uh, so main app settings, interface section, and this is going to show it immediately. You see the headings and they collapse when they're not in use. And in this instance, you can have one open and it'll close the previously open one and um, uh, open the one you're tapping on. Um, now, collapse large menus. This is going to control um, this feature. So if I turn it off, then it goes back to how it's worked previously. Just lots of sections, all, all visible. Um, and I found you do a lot of scrolling, looking for what you want. Um, then these other options, manual and auto, automatic. Auto is automatically closes the one that was open and opens the one that you tapped on. So I'm tapping on the heading, I'll tap on colors, and it's closed the previous one and opened colors. So one's open. Um, uh, if you tap on the, the heading for an open one, it'll close it. Go back to interface, manual. This closes when you manually tap on a, a um, heading, uh, otherwise it stays open. So this way you can have lots open, so you could go through and open them all, um, not a problem. Um, my preference is uh, automatic, but others in the beta test liked the idea of having more than one open, so that's why it's there. Um, so the next change is to do with um, Dutch doors. I think they're a lot easier now, especially as you can take an image. So um, uh, I'll just show you what type of image, image this is. Uh, selected it, so the red area is transparent. So this has been designed to be a sort of edge of a Dutch door. Um, so I've selected it. I've got new section shape operations, and I can say make Dutch door. So that's found the kind of boundary shape of the transparent area or non-transparent area and um, it's constructed a Dutch door for you. And you can see already that I'm seeing the page behind um, just on the right of the whale. Um, it leaves the shape selected. So if I go to the polygon tool link, um, I can say it's also make reverse link, it still doesn't do that automatically and then turn over and then that's the Dutch door done. Um, I'll just undo some of that. There we go, back to that one. Um, related functions to that, it or a related function is um, another transparent image. I can select it images tab uh, section find boundary shape now this is obviously used for the Dutch door and there we go it's found the non-transparent region and turned it into a, um, a polygon or shape uh, and you can do things with that um, so you can still kind of use this process to manually create your Dutch door shapes, um, but uh, I think that could be useful for a variety of reasons. Um, so the next change has been to do with uh, a game of shapes, shape operations. So I've selected two shapes and I can do things like union them, so that's kind of joining them together, um, intersecting them, that's just taking the overlapping bit, and um, subtracting. So the order in which they are on the page, or if you've inserted them onto the page, is important. So the red one has been inserted before the green one, so it's going to take the green one away from the red one. So that's that. Um, and if I want it the other way around, then there's another new uh, feature, order. I can 
move to back, we'll move the green one to the back of the red one, we'll move it to the back of everything. Back one, we'll just take it one position back. So if you've got lots of elements and you're just you're stacking them up, then that can be very useful. Just do it one at a time. Um, anyway, in this case, that's, that's worked what I wanted. So I'll select it and then subtract, and it's subtracted the red one from the green one. Um, look on to the next page. So eraser. Um, so there's a new option called current layer only. So if I turn it off for the time being, I've got some writing in layer two, writing in layer one. They're both unlocked. So uh, in this mode, I can rub it all out. But the current layer is layer one. So if I turn that on there, then layer two is safe. It's just going to do layer one. Um, so that's just a, a bit, just makes it a bit easier with the eraser and not having to lock um, the non-current layers in, for, in order to delete the right things. Um, another point is uh, if I polygon tool, there's no shape tool anymore. There's only one tool that controls it all. So I can select a polygon and um, can change it this way. Uh, you can notice on the right hand side there's the, the shape icon. Um, you can't turn a regular polygon into a, into a shape currently but um, what you can do is uh, choose it when you're wanting to draw a, a freehand shape. Now that's done that so I've got a shape. Um, it just makes it a lot more straightforward because there are a lot of shared functionality between the two. Um, and now it's all just in one place, it makes it a lot easier. Um, uh, if I um, close this project now, you'll see the uh, next uh, feature change. Um, you can set your revisions to um, ask you when you close a document whether you want to make a revision or not. So you've got three choices. Make revision. Well, uh, that's obviously going to make the revision. No is it won't, but it will close the drawing. Cancel just doesn't close the the the, the uh, document. And you get to that in revisions. So I've got on close. On edit is when you open it. Manually is you just have to do it um, with greater revision that way. Um, so on close is quite nice. You've made some changes and you want to um, kind of back them up uh, sporadically. Um, you'll get that question when you've uh, uh, closed the drawing, make revision. Back to there. Good.